leave it to Taylor Swift to pull one over on her fans. Her legion of Swifties was eagerly awaiting her new album to drop overnight, and it did with 16 songs. But then, two hours later, Swift took to social media to reveal the tortured poets department is actually a double album and released another 15 tracks. So now there are 31 new Taylor Swift songs for fans to listen to as they try to decipher what and who all those lyrics are about. This is one of those new songs, the title track, The Tortured Poets Department. For more on this new album, we've reached Carlina Squire. She's a big Swifty and has taken a listen to the new album. We reached her in Grand Falls, Windsor, Newfoundland. Thanks so much for jumping on with us. Oh, no problem. So this new album, 31 songs, did you did you stay up late to, to get the first 15 at, at midnight? I did. Well, it was 1.30 in the morning here, and I definitely I stayed up for that. Uh, and then shortly after the songs dropped, another countdown appeared on her Instagram page. And then we all knew something was happening at 2 a.m. And sure enough, she dropped the double album, <laughs> which wow. is totally unexpected. Yeah, so you had a late night there. Very late night. I think by the time I finally put my phone down, it was 4.30 in the morning. Well, you had to listen to all 31 songs, I I'm sure, mm -hmm. as well, Carlina. So what, what did you think of the album? I loved it. It's very different from what she usually does. But at the same time, it has lots of like hints and callbacks to a lot of her old albums. And it's very intermixed with a lot of her old lyrics, but also providing a lot of new like stories and um, different perspectives of things that she's been going through. So I really enjoyed it so far. I saw a, a review in Rolling Stone saying that uh, this might be Taylor Swift's most personal album yet. Did you get that kind of vibe from it? Absolutely. And like in past albums, like she's done songs about herself and she's done songs about other people. But this one feels like it's truly like completely from her heart for probably one of the first times ever where the full album is really like a deep dive into what she's been going through for the last few years. It's interesting, too. I mean, you mentioned how it sort of seems similar to a few different albums. And it's something that um, she has talked about uh, that her her Fans allow her to do that, to sort of, uh, you know, cross between genres and to play around a little bit with her music. Um, so when you're thinking about this particular album, do you think that people will be impressed that she's been able to mix it together again? Or maybe they were looking for something new? Do you think there could be a mix of reaction? I've, I've definitely heard a little bit of everything. I've heard a lot of people are very impressed by it, saying it's probably one of her best albums she's ever come out with. I've heard people saying that it almost feels nostalgic, where she has a lot of like callbacks to her old lyrics. And it, it feels different, but yet also like it feels like something that's always been there. Mm -hmm. And that's what kind of makes it extra special compared to some of the older albums. Taylor Swift is known for uh, dropping Easter eggs, uh, whether Thanks. it's in her songs, but also on her posts online and whatnot. Have you found any so far in your listening of this new album? Um, not specifically within the lyrics, um, but there's definitely some like lyrics that she's chosen that are either callbacks to some of older songs. Like, for example, she references a line um, from her song New Romantics off of 1989 where she says don't leave me stranded and she does do a reference to that um, There's some other songs that reference specific places that she's been to um, like London and uh, New York and Florida and so there it's it's definitely a process to try to find all the different yeah. Easter eggs and all the different um like all the different things that she leaves in her songs for her fans. And that's kind of what, what makes it fun too. And you want to listen to it over and over to see what new things you can find every time. Carlina, do you have plans too to go to a, a listening party in the, in a week or so to once, I mean, I guess once everybody's had a chance to listen. Yeah. So like, I'll probably sit down with some of my friends to have a listen through as well. But um, next week, um, I don't know if everybody's heard of it, but there's an organization in Canada called the T-Swift Dance Party, 
and they throw dance parties all across Canada. And what they do, they take the revenue from that and they donate them to local organizations. So in previous years, they've donated to Planned Parenthood, the SBCA. So they're usually donating to organizations that are really close to Taylor Swift's art right here in Canada. And uh, like, I couldn't think of a better reason to be in a room full of other Swifties dancing and singing along to her music and celebrating the new music that's come out. Well, Carlina, if they hadn't heard about it, uh, they heard about it now. So uh, thanks so much for joining us on the, on this, uh, you know, pretty special day for Swifties. Really appreciate it. Oh, absolutely. I'm, I'm hoping I'll get more sleep tonight. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. That was Carlina Squires in Grand Falls, Windsor, Newfoundland.